good. All right, time for the warm-up video. Here we go. And up, down, up, down, Lenny. up, down, Lenny. up, Lenny. 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 No, 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 Warm-ups should happen before a show. Yes, Mabel, and that's why I'm doing them now, before the show. No, 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 Lenny, you are doing them during the show. What are you talking about, Mabel? There's no audience. There is no... What, 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 what? What is that? Who are they? There are audience, Lenny. Look mm. at them. No. Look at all of them. Yeah. No, not those people. Oh, no. Yes, that's our audience. What? They're our audience? Yeah. Well, Mabel, what are you doing standing around? We have to start a show. There's an audience here. <laughs> yes, um, Lenny. Yes? I don't know what we should do. Oh, I don't either. Um, oh, what do we do? What do we do? Let's see, let's see. Uh, ah, I know. How about something classical? Something that they all know. Something like Hamlet. <clears throat> to be or not to be. Lenny, that Lenny, is Lenny. The that's too depressing. <laughs> well, all right. Why don't you give it a try? Well, uh... I suppose we ought to do something light, something charming, maybe something with animals. <gasps> we could do cats. Uh. <clears throat> Memory. No, 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 We can't do that. We can't do that one. <laughs> oh, but uh, that doesn't leave much for us to do, does it? <gasps> oh, Lenny, ah, ah, what? We could do Aesop's Fables. Aesop's Fables? Yes, Aesop's that's a wonderful idea. Now, Mabel, you go get ready, and I will talk to our friends out here. Hello, everyone. Hello. We are so excited to present to you the stories of Aesop, known as Aesop's Fables. Now, I have a question out there, looking at all of you. Who among you knows what a fable is? Hmm? I'm looking. I'm looking. Well, if you don't know, let me tell you. Um, a fable is a story that is written uh, to teach a moral or a lesson. And usually the fable has animals in it. Um, so, with that knowledge, I believe we are about ready, Mabel. Let's go. Let's get oh, ready right. to go. And, uh, oh, no, ready. we can't do it. We can't do it. I'm sorry. We can't do the show. No, we're not. Can't do it. No, no we're not. Because we are professionals, yes. Mabel, and as professionals, we do not do a show unless we are introduced properly. Oh. That's right. And there's no one to introduce us, so I don't know what we're going to do. What are you doing? How about they introduce us? <laughs> Mabel, I don't know about that. Do you think that they could handle it? I think that they could. All they right. look like a smart bunch, don't they? Well, yes, they do. They do look quite smart. Well, yes. let's give them a try. Oh, Here we right. go. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Now, I would like for all of you to introduce us. And the way I'd like for this to work is I would like for all of you to repeat after me. Are we ready? Here we go. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a little oh, bit a, a little bit louder. I want I, to hear it a little bit louder. Try one more time. I thought it was lovely. Let's try it again now. Here we go. <coughs> Much better. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We would like to present... Lenny and Mabel and their most fantastic, fabulous traveling across the land in she's production. No, 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 that's a little bit much for them. They're doing a good job, but that's quite a lot. Um, excuse me, Mabel, let me try this. Uh, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We want you to watch very closely because when we point to you like this, we want you all to say Aesop's Fables. Now, we're going to okay. give it a try, all right? So get ready. Oh, um, here we go. Oh, oh very good. Now, nice. I heard some of you, but I want it a little bit louder for the real thing, okay? How about you in the back? Be yes. extra loud. Extra loud. We were giving you permission, yes. <laughs> here we go. All right. Whoa, oh, that was much better. better. Now, we're 
we're going to do the whole thing. Here we go. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to present world famous actors Linny and Mabel and their classic production of. Whoa! That was amazing! Yeah. Oh, Give all of yourselves a big round of applause! Oh, yes! Oh, oh. marvellous! <laughs> That was wonderful. Now, oh. ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased as punch to be presenting to you the fables of Aesop. Now, we have read pages upon pages, books upon books, shelves upon shelves to find this perfect collection of stories for you. Now, all of these stories were written by a man named Aesop, who was writing about 2,600 years ago. Now, I want all of you to close your eyes and think really, really hard about the oldest person that you know. Ugh. That could be your mum, your dad, your nan, your granddad, a neighbour. It could be anybody, but I want you to think of somebody who's super old. Now, Aesop is older than every single one of those people by at least 2,500 years. And this is a very long time ago. And Aesop was writing all of these wonderful stories from his home in Greece. Well, Which is a you see, some people think that that's where Aesop comes from, but actually, we're not very sure. Some people believe that Aesop comes from a city in Egypt called Alexandria. But the truth is, no matter where Aesop came from, Aesop wrote hundreds and hundreds of fables. The trouble is, Mabel, I don't know which one we should start with. Oh, I mean, they're all so good. Yes, they are. Yes, indeed. That's the book? This is the book. That's all of them. That's all of them. Why don't you do this? Okay. Open to a random page. Random page. Plonk your finger down. Plonking my finger down. That's the story we start with. <gasps> Isn't that exciting, Mabel? I'm going to go get ready. Oh, yes, I'll go get ready, too. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you all to see what we have in store for you. All right, the story we are going to share with you right now is the story called The Tortoise and the Hare. Now, I wonder how many of you have ever heard of the story of The Tortoise and the Hare? If you have, just raise your hands, let me see. Oh my, well, I think you're going to really like this one. Uh, now, a tortoise. Perhaps you don't know what a tortoise is. Let's see if you can find out. First, I'm going to take that off, and I am going to put this on. Now, oh, this is a nice uh, hard covering here for my stomach. And uh, I wonder if any of you can guess. Can you guess? What do you think? Well, let's see if you can get it with this. Because along with the hard covering on my front, I have to have a hard covering on my back. It is also known as a shell. Do I look the part? Can you guess? Well, let's see if this helps. Because you see, all torti are begoggled like this. And they have a green or brown, shiny, bald head. Can you guess what a tortoise is? If you said a turtle, you are very right. A tortoise is much like a turtle. Uh, now, all torti sound a lot like this. They talk very slow. And they move very slow and steady. <laughs> well, once upon a time, there was a tortoise. And one day, he ran into his friend, the hare. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I'm so oh, sorry that I'm oh, late. I oh. got stuck at the hare porch. Oh, how are you doing today? Huh? Oh, I'm terrible. Oh. Simply terrible. I am having the absolute worst hair day! Um, M M Mabel, 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 what are you doing? Well, we are doing the story of the tortoise and the hare, aren't we? Uh, yes, we are, yes, but... so, ta -da! Where do we go from hair? No, Mabel, no, 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 no. 
This is the story called The Tortoise and the Hare. It's about a turtle and a rabbit. Hare is another word for rabbit. Not a turtle and a wig, a turtle and a rabbit. Hare is another word for rabbit. Yes. This is the story of the tortoise and the rabbit. Yes, yes, yes. Not the tortoise and the wig. No. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> oh, I'll yes. be right back. Yes, oh yes, yes. Oh boy, isn't this fun? We're going to try that again. All right, so we had a tortoise who moved very slow and very steady. And one day, he was walking along and he bumped into his friend, the hare. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so oh. sorry. Oh. I didn't see you, Mr. Turtle. Oh, that's okay. Tortoise. Well, yeah. Turtle? Uh, well, tortoise. Uh, turtle, tortoise, turtle, tortoise, turtle, tortoise. Tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. Oh, oh yes. Well, uh, uh, how are you doing today, huh? Oh, I'm doing uh, all right. Yeah? Hey, you move awfully slow. Don't you ever get tired of moving around so slow? No. Oh. Slow poke. That's what I'm going to call you, Mr. Slowpoke. Oh, now, hold here, on. Here, there, and everywhere, yeah, but, but it circles around you, and you're just sitting there creeping along as slow as can be. Well, so what? Just because I move slow doesn't mean I'm not as good at things as you are. Oh, really? That's absolutely right. Yep. In fact, if we were to have a race today, I am sure that I could beat you. <laughs> can see the finish line, so I'm not going to give up just yet. Here I go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Boy, I feel rested and refreshed. That was such a good nap. You know, I suppose I ought to get back to the race. Hey. Has anybody seen the turtle? I haven't seen him go by, have you? You wait, you did? Wait it! Wait it! Speak up! He passed me? <gasps> he what? Say it work! <gasps> he won! <gasps> Hang on a second! Wait a minute! Oh. This isn't fair! You couldn't have won! I'm supposed to win! I'm the fastest animal in the forest! You must have cheated! Oh, well now, hold on just a second there. Just because us turtles are slow, we put our minds to something, and we move forward until we get the job done. Wait, wait. Yeah? You're saying... You're saying... That you won because you worked really hard and you never gave up? Oh, that's absolutely that right. That's not fair. Well, just because you're the fastest animal in the forest, that doesn't mean that you can always achieve your goal uh, because you decided to take a nap uh, near the finish line. If you hadn't taken that nap, 
you probably would have won. Yeah. I guess. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Yup. It does. It does. I guess. I guess just because you're naturally good at something, that doesn't mean that you don't have to work really hard at it. That's absolutely right. Oh. But you know what? Oh. I got something for you. For me? That's right. What? You got a trophy for second place. <gasps> <laughs> second yeah. place? Yeah. I've never won second place before. Oh, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I know what I gotta go do. Oh, what are you gonna go do? I gotta go practice for our next race. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> and that is the story of the tortoise and the hare. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, you see, we are so happy to have brought that one to you because it is one of my absolute favorites. Oh, uh, Mabel, wasn't that just wonderful? Oh, that was absolutely grand, oh, Lenny. Yes, indeed. Now, Lenny. Yes, Mabel. What would you say the moral of that story would be? Oh, that's easy. You see, the moral of that story is uh, <clears throat> slow and steady. Steady wins the race. What? Well, what that means simply is this. Um, it means that if you try very hard and don't give up on attaining your goal, you will eventually succeed. As I like to say, practice makes progress. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, yes, I... So what you're saying is that each little step that we take... Yes. ...brings us one step closer to our goal. Oh, I believe that is right, Mabel. Very oh, good. Very marvelous. good. Yes. I love it. Oh, yes. Oh, fabulous. Well, uh, what do you think we should do next? Do you have a suggestion, Mabel? I do. Oh, whisper it in my ear and tell me what you think it might be. <sighs> that is a great... Idea. We are going to go get ready, and uh, we hope you like this next one. Okay, here we go. Well, you know, I suppose it's my turn to tell you the story of the lion and the mouse. Have any of you ever heard of this story before? You have, a few of you have. Oh, yay! It's one of my absolute favourite stories, and I'm so excited to share it with you today. Well, I suppose I ought to start from the very beginning. Once upon a time in a kingdom far away, there lived a lion. Roar! <laughs> now, this lion was known throughout the kingdom to be a ferocious beast. <laughs> He was also thought to be a fair and just ruler. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now one day, on his way home from an afternoon of prowling the forest, the lion was about to discover that a very tiny little mouse had made its home alongside him. Oh boy, I do love coming home after a wonderful day of being me, king of the beasts. I'm so strong and powerful. No one would dare to mess with me in my home. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> what? What is that noise? I think squeak, I hear a squeak. squeaking sound. Well, oh. Oh. it looks oh, as though squeak, something has squeak, entered squeak. my cave without my permission. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Ah! Ah! Who are you and what oh. are you doing here? Oh, oh, Mr. Lion, please do not hurt me. It is only I, a very tiny little mouse, just foraging for some scraps of food or some crumbs on your cave floor. How uh, dare you come uh, into my home without my permission? No, Why, I should pick you up by your ears and no, gobble you up. No, please, please, ah. please, please, Mr. Lion, I know that I should never have set foot inside of you, but please, I promise, if you let me go, I, I will repay your kindness one day. <laughs> Repay me, oh. a lion. You're just a mouse. Oh. What could you possibly do? <laughs> oh, what I uh, suppose I could give you this kindness. I... But you had best leave now before I change my mind. Okay. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Can you imagine? A tiny little mouse repay me, a great big lion. It's absurd, <laughs> but at least I did my good deed for the day, and I got a good laugh out of it, too. <laughs> and so that lion set the little mouse along its way. 
thinking how silly it was that something as tiny as a mouse could help something as big as a lion. But little did that lion know how important that mouse would turn out to be. For one day, a few weeks later, while the lion was out prowling the forest, he found himself caught in a very tight net. <laughs> That's right. He found himself in a hunter's trap. Oh, oh no! What am I going to do? Oh, to think me, the great big lion, caught in this tiny little net. I'm never going to get out of here. Oh, how could this have happened? Oh, 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 oh. Mouse! Mouse! Mouse, help me! Got to be something to eat around here somewhere. Maybe some nuts or some berries. Mouse, help! Oh! Look at that ferocious beast oh. caught in that net. Yes. Oh, it's a very good thing for me that he is caught in that oh. net. Otherwise, oh. he would be eating me no, for his mouse, lunch. it's me. It's me, Mouse. Please help me, please. Oh, it's you. Yes. You are that lion that let me go from its cave a few weeks ago. Uh, yes, yes, <gasps> Mouse. Whatever had happened to you? Oh, I got caught in this hunter's oh. net while I was walking through the woods. Oh, please. You promised to repay my kindness. Now I need your help. Oh. Please help me. Mouse. Absolutely, Mr. Lion. I will help you for sure. Oh, thank but you. I would just like to point out something that is very funny. Yes, what? <laughs> oh. See, you thought that it was so strange that something as tiny as me, a mouse, could help something as big as you, a lion, and now it does seem that I am the only one who can help you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Please help. Oh, Please oh, help me. Of yes. course, Mr. Lion. Oh, of course. Yes. I will just find a spot where oh, the rest yes. are fraying and I will nibble right here. Oh, yes. And you will be free very soon. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mouse. So oh, I now see it's important to be kind to people, even those who are different than you, because you never know who they are or what they can do to help you in your life and what you can do to help them. Oh, please. Absolutely, Mr. Lion. Yes. I promise that if you get me out of this, I will be kinder to everyone that I meet. Can you just imagine how terrible this would be if we had chosen to be mean to one another? Oh, yes, yes, please help I, me. I'm almost done. Oh, I've good. almost got this. Here we yes. go. Yes. Um, All right. You are free. Oh, yes. Oh, Mouse. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you oh, so oh, much. Oh, 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 my. It is so good to be free, Mouse. Uh, thank you. Oh, you are welcome, Mr. Lion. Well, that is what friends are for. <gasps> Did you say friends? Oh, I sure did, Mr. Lion. We are friends. Oh, I I like the sound of that. <laughs> friends. <laughs> well, Mouse, let us be friends far away from this place. I'll go over here. I'll meet you there shortly. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I never thought that I would see that big old lion ever again. <laughs> I'm just glad that it was me who was walking through the forest today. Can you imagine what would have happened if it had been a different mouse? They would not have stopped. They would not have known him for his true kindness. Oh, oh mouse! <gasps> mouse, oh. where are you? I'm coming! Bye-bye. And that is the story of the lion and the mouse. Isn't that a great story? I do love that one. That is one of Mabel's favorites. The lion is a dream role of mine, oh, you know. Oh, it's my <laughs> favorite Story. Oh, yes, indeed. Wait, it really does make you think about being kind to others. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, I would say that that's probably the moral of the story, to oh. be kind to those who cross your path, because you never know how they may help you or how you may help them in the end. Right, and you may never know that the person that you're being mean to might actually turn out to be a very dear friend. That's absolutely right. It's truly a blessing that there are so many differences in the world. I mean, can you imagine how boring it would be if we all looked the same. If we all talked the same. Ate the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mabel, that is a wonderful story. I, I would like to tell another one. Oh, what should we tell, Lenny? I believe it's time for one of my favourite stories. <gasps> yes, you want to get ready? I'm going to go get ready. Yes, all right, we'll be right back with some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful story. We're going to tell you one of the most wonderful stories. Now, this one's Lenny's favourite. This is The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Have you heard this one before? 
you have? Oh, I bet you're going to love our version. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, let's get started then, shall we? Here we go. <clears throat> Once upon a time in a village far away, there lived a little boy whose job it was, was to look after his flock of sheep. Now, he watched those sheep day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out. Well, well, you get the picture. He was very, very good at his job watching those sheep. Now, just because he was very good at his job doesn't mean that he didn't frequently get bored. <laughs> My sheep. They're my sheep. Yes. That's your sheep. The, yes, all four of them. They're my sheep. That's his sheep. Yes. Well, they're fuzzy, you know. And this is how far we've come. No, Mabel. No, no, don't, don't get upset. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they're all I could find around the house, you know. Q-tips. Um, they're not very good, are they? Oh dear. I don't know how we're going to tell this story now. Um, oh, wait a minute. I think. I could get some help from all of you out there. All right, let's give this a try. You are all going to be my sheep, all right? Now, in order to make sure that you know what you're doing, we're going to practice being sheep, okay? So the first thing I want you all to do is to hold your hands up like this, really close to yourselves. Good. And then you're going to begin walking like sheep. Here we go. Clop, 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 clop. Go ahead, give it a try. Clop, 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 clop. Very nice. Oh, I like what you did. That was really good. Now, we are going to try to eat like sheep. So, watch closely and listen to the sound that I make. Because I need you to do it in a moment, all right? Here we go. Now, you give it a try. Here we go. Oh my, that was good. Your grass looked particularly delicious. Very nice. Now we are going to do one more thing. All sheep have to talk like this. So can you talk like a sheep? Let's try it. Here we go. Oh, that was very good. Penny, you, oh, what oh, are you doing out okay, there? Okay, come here, look. Come look, come look. Look, look, look. I found our sheep. See them? Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, they are charming. Oh, yes, they? they are, yes. But <laughs> here's the test. Can they walk like sheep? Oh, yes, they can. Go ahead, show her. Show her. There you go. That's Good. really adorable. Yes, isn't it great? Oh, yeah. Now here's a real test. Ah. Can they eat like sheep? Oh, oh yes, they can. Watch, watch. Ow, 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 ow. Look at that, that's see? Really nice. Yes. But ah. here's the real test. Can they burn like sheep? Oh, of course they can. Watch this. <laughs> See, look at them. Oh, it's so look. wonderful. Oh, yes. That makes me feel known as so nostalgic. It's oh, just like yes. being back at the sheep farm. Oh, my yes. Home. It's wonderful. Love yes, Mabel. We don't, we don't have time for that now. Not a trip down memory lane. Oh, uh, it's time we got the show so going, good. right? Right, right. They're just such wonderful sheep. Oh, yes. Now, oh. Uh, sheep, I want you to pay attention because whenever I ask you to make some noise or to walk or to eat grass, I want you to play along, all right? Okay, I think we're ready. All right, so let's start over from the very beginning. This is the boy who cried wolf. <clears throat> Once upon a time in a village far away, there lived a little boy whose job it was was to watch his flock of sheep. Now, this young man was very, very good at his job. But just because he was very good at his job, doesn't mean that he didn't get bored. And he frequently got bored. So one day, he devised a plan to play a trick on all of the villagers. 
Oh, man, sheep. Oh, we're almost at the top of the hill over here. And then we're going to take a break, okay? So let's walk a little bit more, okay? Here we go. Just walk up the hill. Oh, good job, sheep. You walked really well. Now I gotta figure out what to do. It's so boring up here. I don't know what we're gonna do. <gasps> I got a great idea. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cry wolf. When I call out that there's a wolf coming, the people from the village are gonna have to come up here because they want to keep me and you safe. Oh, it's gonna be so funny to watch them run up that hill. Okay, watch this. Here we go. Wolf! Wolf! about what I did. I think it was pretty funny. <laughs> We're going to do it again. All right, sheep. Now you sit right there and you eat your grass, okay? Go ahead. Eat some grass. Just like that. Now I'm going to call her back. She's not even down the hill yet. Just watch this. This is going to be good. Wolf! Wolf! Oh, my Whoa! goodness. There's a real wolf. There's a wolf. if I cry wolf again. Come on. Well, you know, sheep, I, I, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, I, I'm going to go take a nap. You know what? I'm going to sit down under that tree. I'm going to count you until I fall asleep. That's how you fall asleep, right, counting sheep? Okay, you sit right there, keep eating your grass, and I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Bye! But little did he know that at that exact moment there was, in fact, a real wolf prowling the countryside, looking for a tasty, sheep-flavored snack. Oh, boy! That was a really good nap. Yeah, they're not kidding. Counting you sheep, that makes it nice and easy. Well, let's see. We've walked up the hill with a clock, 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 clock. Yeah, we've had you eat your grass. You're going, arm, 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 arm. So now, uh, do you have anything good to say? Any song you want to sing? Why don't you try talking? Let's go, bah! Oh, come on, you could do louder than that. Here we go, again. Oh, that was good. One more time. All right, here we go. Ow! Oh, did you hear that? I could have sworn I... Do you suppose... Hey, do you think that might have been a wolf? Oh, it's a wolf! It's a wolf! Oh, no, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay, uh, sheep, sheep, you got to hide. you got to stay there. But uh, listen, do you see a wolf? Can you tell me where the wolf is? I don't see her. Oh, it's Surprise! A... It's, a... it's the... It's a wolf! It's a wolf! Oh, what am I gonna do? I, 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 I gotta call the villagers! I'll call the villagers! I mean, you can try. Well, I think I will. Wolf! 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 Oh, no, they're not coming, are they? Of 
course they're not coming. Oh. They used to take you seriously, but then you started to joke about it. <gasps> you started to cry wolf. I mean, for heaven's sakes, in the village, you're known as the boy who cried wolf. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, please, 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 Wolf, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me or my sheep. I, 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 I'm so sorry. I promise I'll make it all right. I promise. And how do I know that I can trust you? No, 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 please. I, 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 I give you my word. I'll give you my word. From this day forward, I'll only be known as the boy who told the truth, not the boy who cried wolf. Okay. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I will let you... And your sheep. No. <laughs> no. Go. Okay. As long as you promise to say true to your word. I and I want you to think really hard. And I want you to remember this. <laughs> Next time you even think about being dishonest. Okay. <laughs> Is it gone? Oh, sheep, that was so close. Okay, here's what we gotta do. You're gonna eat your grass one more time. Um, um, um. Good. Then say bye. Yeah, bye. Good. Now we're gonna go walk down the hill and apologize to all the villagers. Okay, here we go. All right, we're gonna go. Bye, bye. And so that boy went down to the village and apologized to every single villager that he played a trick on. And from that day forward, he was known to be the most honest person you have ever known. And that is the story of the boy who cried wolf. Oh, yes. Oh, that is a wonderful, wonderful, oh, wonderful yes. story, isn't it, Mabel? Oh, I love that one. I do, too. And you know, though it is my favorite, Mabel, I have to be honest, I, I'm not sure I know what the moral of that story is. Well, no. No, I well, don't. Well, the moral of the story is that you must always tell the truth. Because no one trusts a liar. That is absolutely right, isn't it, Mabel? It oh. is. It teaches you such a wonderful lesson. Oh, you're right, Mabel. It is that's a wonderful, wonderful lesson. Now, Lenny. Yes, Mabel. As much as I would love to share another story... Yes? I have to be the bearer of bad news. Oh, Mabel, please don't say it. We're out of time. Oh, no. I know. I know. time with all of our new friends out there. Yes, we have. Oh, Mabel, there are just so many different stories we need to tell. Well, watch this. Okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Lenny's right. There are hundreds more stories written by Aesop that we have not been able to share with you today. But if you would like to go and read those and learn more, there are three different ways that you can get that information. The first, you can visit us online at www.brightstartheatre.com. Oh, and yes. there, you and your teachers and your parents can access our study guide with lots of fantastic information. Oh, oh, oh and there's another way. Uh, the second way is, of course, with your parents or your guardians or with your teachers or librarians, go online and search Aesop's fables. There are all sorts of wonderful stories there. Yes, and, yes. Have... and in addition to that, you and your parents can reach out to your teachers and your librarians and they will send you in the right direction to find all of the stories and lots more information. Information. So you, thank you so much for all of you uh, helping us out and telling the story. Uh, once again, my name is Lily. <laughs> and I'm Mabel. And uh, this has been Aesop's, Aesop's Fables. Fables. Get out of the way. Get out of the way.